it's time for a Fiat 500 car update. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Well, if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I am a Disney plush collector from the UK, but I do all things Disney on this channel. So if that interests you, then please hit the subscribe button or ring the notification bell so that you're always notified when there's a new video from me. But I do upload on Tuesdays and Fridays at 6pm UK time. So happy Tuesday, I hope you're all having a great start to your week. I am here with a Fiat 500 car update, which I would normally do in June as I got my car in June. But today, the 17th of May, actually commemorates four years since I passed my driving test and I got my Fiat a month later. So I am wearing my new Taylor Swift Red Taylor's version jumper because red is the colour of my car. I recently had to look into the exact colour of my car because there is a chip on the bonnet so I had to go to Halfords and buy the Fiat Paso Doble slash Passion Red kit so that my dad can put the colour back on my bonnet. I think it's just been like a bricks kicked up while I was driving and it's chipped the paint off but I don't like it and I want it sorted. So normally when I do this I film in my car but we live on a main road and it's so noisy, no one slows down for the speed bumps, everybody likes to rev their engine, everyone's got loud exhausts, it's just not fun and it's very embarrassing when people walk past while I'm filming as well. So I'm filming this in my bedroom, I can actually see my car from my window and I filmed the footage of what the inside of my car looks like ahead of time so that I can do a little voiceover. So like I said, I passed four years today on the 17th of May. We got my car in June, it was leased for four years, so the lease is running out this year but my parents have very kindly said that they will pay off the remaining balance so that I can keep my car. So I am going to have this car until the car doesn't want me anymore basically. It is a Fiat 500 lounge, it was a brand new car so it was an 18 plate. It's actually only done 5,000 miles because when I first got it I worked at Morrison's which was only about 3 or 4 miles from my house and then I got the job at the university which was a little bit further and then we got sent home so I wasn't driving it as much my mum started driving it to work for me because she was still going into work so it was still getting driven a little bit because I didn't want my car to be just sitting and rusting but now I have started to go to work again I live about 11 miles away since we moved house and if you didn't see the whole moving house process I will leave your card up above so it is getting driven more and I am now in the office three to four days a week so it is getting driven more often now so the mileage will go up it's just had its four year MOT which it passed with no problems and no advisories which means that there's nothing that I need to get fixed by the next MOT which is good I've been getting comments on my old Fiat 500 videos that are a bit strange. I've had about four people ask me how many doors it has when like you can kind of see from the picture how many doors it has. It is a three door Fiat which means that only the driver and the passenger have doors and then there's a boot as well which for some reason they've always counted as a door. So to get into the back you have to pull the lever, pull the lever cronk and bring the chair down but for some reason I have broken my driver's side it was too stiff and I gave it a bit of force and snapped it and they fixed it but I still can't get it to open so I'm just using the passenger side when I need to go in and put my plush in. So for my MOT I did move all of my plushes out and then I put them all back in. The car got cleaned and vacuumed so it looks nice and new again and I wanted to show you how it looks at the moment. So in the driver's side there is a Minnie Mouse car mat and also a Sum Sum next to where I put my keys. I think it's actually intended for change but who carries change anymore? And then I've got a Minnie Mouse Wishables keyring hanging from my mirror next to my dash cam. In my glove compartment I've got a Minnie Mouse document holder that just contains charging wires 
and I've also got a little card holder that has my parking pass in. The passenger side floor mat is slightly different. Instead of Minnie's face, there is a mini head silhouette. And then I've got a Minnie Mouse USB stick, which has all of my Taylor Swift albums on it. I've got a red and white polka dot Mickey planter from Shop Disney. And I've got some car coasters. There's also a bubblegum car air freshener. And then I've got a mini tiny big feet and a mini wishable in the cup holders. In the door I've got an emoji mini and a mini coin purse because I had nowhere to put those. On the passenger side seat I've got a Mickey Mouse headrest and I've also got a Mickey Mouse seatbelt cover as well. On the back seat there are two Primark blankets. One is Mickey head silhouettes and one is Minnie and Mickey's faces. I've got four different Minnie Mouse cushions. I've got a Cuddly's plush, a big Sum Sum, a Sum Sum pencil case, a Minnie Mouse grip plush that goes on the seatbelt, and I've got a personalised Minnie Mouse plush with the day I pass my test. I've also got a Minnie Mouse sticker on my windscreen. And recently my boyfriend Joe's workplace did Disney plushes for £15. I did a TikTok on them. I am also Lizzie and Disney on TikTok. And he got me the Minnie Mouse, which is now on my passenger seat because she's really big. So I didn't want to put her on the back seat because there isn't really room. So that is what's in my car. There could be more. I have been toying with the idea of putting a blanket on the parcel shelf in the boot to make that Minnie Mouse as well. I wouldn't put anything on that then because I wouldn't be able to see out of my window but I would just like something to make the parcel shelf look nicer. My mum does now have a Cricut so I'm tempted to get her to do something for my car with that. I wouldn't want anything with my name on because I wouldn't want anyone to know my name who sees my car. Obviously if someone notices my car and recognises it from Instagram or YouTube then that can't be helped but I don't want a complete stranger knowing my name and that that is my registration and things like that but she could do something else Minnie Mouse for me just to kind of liven it up because later this year it will officially be my car so I won't have to hand it back and I can do whatever I want and I have been very tempted to put polka dots all over the outside of the car as well but I think that that would draw way too much attention to my car. But that was my four year Fiat 500 car update. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below what your favorite thing about my car is. Like I said, I have been getting some really weird questions and I have seen people comment telling me that they don't like Fiat 500s. But honestly, you do not have to watch the video if you do not like this kind of car and you do not need to tell me your opinion of my car. Sometimes it is best to not say anything at all if you're not going to say something nice. So just bear that in mind before you comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on Friday for a new video. Bye friends!